Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to calculate quartiles. In my scenario, I've got response times for a clinical trial. Now there are two functions we're going to look at here, quartile including, quartile excluding. So you can see that there is a third quartile function, but that's a legacy function, which has been replaced by quartile including. So let's try that function first of all. My first argument is array. So I select the data that I'm analyzing, comma, and then you can see here that you can specify which quartile you want to do the calculation on. You've got your minimum value, your first quartile, medium value, third quartile, and maximum value. So for example, if I wanted to return the minimum value, I would put a zero in. Now let's return all of those options. So what I'll do is I'll fix this using F4 on my keyboard. I'll copy this down. And then all I need to do is go in and change these numbers. Now, if you're in Excel 365, there is a quicker way of doing that. What you can do is use the sequence function to return those numbers. So I want five rows, no columns, starting at zero. Now, what about quartile excluding? Well, this is where you want to exclude outliers in your data. So you can see I've got some outliers at the top there, but also down at the bottom, which are skewing the results. So I'll start down here because this version of the quartile function doesn't return the minimum or the maximum values. So my array is the same, comma, you can see here, I just have one, two, and three, rather than the five values that we had with this version of the quartile function. So again, I could just type them in, lock this cell reference and copy down, changing these numbers. Or we can use the sequence function, and all we want is three rows. Now the calculations for these three quartiles are slightly different to the calculations that are done with this first version of the quartile function, which is why we're seeing a slightly higher value here because we're ignoring the lowest values in our data. So those are those basic quartile functions. Now related to this is a box and whisker chart. So if I click into my data, go to insert recommended charts, go to all charts, box and whisker, click on OK. And I'll show some labels here. Now what you'll notice is that these numbers here correspond to the numbers that this version of the quartile function has returned. Also we get our outliers at the bottom and at the top of the box and whisker chart. And this is the highest value excluding the outliers. So if I go down to the bottom of my data, excluding the outliers, the highest value is 32.45, and the lowest value is 14.48, which we see there.